Hi, I'm Sandy and this is my testimony. My parents had a lot of issues and so there was a lot of alcohol, a lot of violence. When they would get into a fight, um, we didn't just go to separate rooms, we went to separate states. And so we would move the, usually 500 miles to another state, um, start a new school and, um, you know, and then she would start missing him and they would start talking again. And next thing you know, we were moving back. Sometimes twice a year, we would move back and forth. So as a result, I had problems with friends, making friends, um, understanding how friendships work. Through the formative years, I actually did go to several uh, BBSs. They talk about how you can be saved. And so I prayed all the time as a little girl. <laughs> I was um, determined he was gonna save me from this life and that he would, um, you know, I'd wake up one morning and be a different person or have different parents and <laughs> or everybody would be happy. And of course that didn't happen. So, you know, when I was a young adult, I, um, I made a lot of bad choices, whether it would be drinking or drugs. I was struggling with depression, um, low self-esteem and anxiety. And so then when I met Sam and um, we got married and had kids, when um, we started putting the kids in preschool, we actually put them in community church preschool. And that's how we ended up at community church. And um, we went here for about 10 years and it was really educational. I learned a lot about Jesus, but it was more of a something to do on Sunday. At the end of the day, I wasn't putting forth the effort. So put God on the shelf, got really busy with life, and um, we left the church and we were gone for like 20 years. <laughs> Long time. Just like I didn't understand relationships with my friends, I didn't understand the relationship with Jesus. And the depression started coming back and um, started having problems with anxiety, especially. And um, I lost a really good friend. I'm in real estate and real estate took a turn. The market became very competitive and my best friend decided she wanted to do that too. And instead of supporting her and being happy for her, I actually got um, I don't know, mean. <laughs> so once the friendship broke apart, then um, I knew I needed something. Um, I needed to change something in myself, in my life. And uh, Bill Randall, he passed away. And so we came to the service. Paul and Cindy Wright were there and they're so welcoming. They were so happy and are happy. And that's what I wanted. And these were people who had reached out to us before and I considered them um, friends and and so we came back to community because that's what we knew and this time I took an active participant role in learning who Jesus was and how he he works in your life and I started praying all the time I've been multiple Bible studies I read the Bible myself um, I do studies on my own and I guess what I realize now is it wasn't the friends I needed it was Jesus I needed he just fills me with joy and confidence I know he is by my side I know he's got me and I all I want to do is shout hallelujah <laughs> I'm just yes <laughs> took me long enough but I'm finally here <laughs> I still get the depression, I still get the anxiety, but I can go and pray. I get such comfort from that. I mean, He truly is a living God. He, You can feel when He wraps His arms around you. You can feel when He's answering your prayers. And I have so much less of a burden now because I lay at His feet anything that's on my mind um, that you know I struggle with. And, he takes care of it for me. You need to come to Jesus. You need to um, get on your knees and pray to Him and um, learn about Him. Study His Word. And if you do, you will be rewarded with um, joy and forgiveness and love. It's just amazing. So I want to be baptized because I want to just declare to everybody that the Lord Jesus is now Lord of my life. Sandy Crisan, on the basis of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ and by the testimony of your life of obedience, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.